What's up guys uh welcome to the stream my name is alchemy uh we're gonna be getting down on some production of tunes that are pretty much i don't want to say finished but up to a point that's playable there's a couple of things that i want to do with some of these that i was just explaining on chat that um i had a DSer and an eq on the obs screen capture audio so if it sounded all fucked up the past week that's why thinking me and artifacts will laugh hard Man, I, you know, I, I actually said something on the pigments video and I feel like I shouldn't have, um, but I, I just think that there's a lot of confusion behind what goes into a neuro base and also knowing that there's a bunch of different kinds of them, but I don't know, man, it's, it's hard. I really don't want to be a neuro base police, but it, it, it is kind of, it feels like. What it feels like to me is when the dance community tries to claim like tricking tricks and call it uh, acro. It's like, no, it's fucking tricking. Like, don't be a culture vulture and try to steal some shit and say that it's yours. But, you know, I don't I don't really feel like the intention. I, I feel like dance is a little bit more. You know, but but yeah, I don't feel like the intention behind what UAD was doing was really all that bad but you know when that one lady did that for pigments i was like hey if you guys wanted help in this department i could have helped uh hey next what's up and i was like uh that might have been in poor taste so i don't know we're working on a dub track today um i started it monday and i finished it wait when did i start this did i start it saturday no i started it monday and when did I finish this? Did I finish it Monday? You curly-haired man, love your work. Hey, thanks, Tsukinoko. Um, I saw you on Discord, so I see ya. I see ya. Thank you for the really kind words. Uh, yeah, let's take a listen to this dub track, and then there's not really a whole lot that I want to do. I just kind of want to take a look at the EQ and maybe fix some harsh mids. And then um, this should sound like 20 times better than the last time I played it on stream. Just 
part sound cleaner now, or does it still sound fucked up? fix in this I feel like I added a like a crash or something on this I think and there was a, is it in the sidechain group perhaps do 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 yeah I really like this tune yeah, so what the fuck was I thinking right here? that makes it sound a little bit more balanced um, just because I feel like the bass was so like it's big but it was so overpowering uh, and uh, the the kick could compete with it but I don't feel like the percussion could and the melody couldn't either Although, I need to turn the AC up right back. 
good mixing. Um, so I think I think this one's okay. Other than that, I mean, I'm not gonna get down and dirty with this and try to. But I do need a name for this track. Does anybody have any? Sorry, I just got lost in a train of thought, thinking, what the fuck should I name this track? Do 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 do. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it Pagurder. <laughs> just. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll make sense one day. One day it'll make sense. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this one, at least as a means of playing it out. Like, I played it at the gym yesterday, and a lot of people seem to like it. So there's that. Do -do 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 -do. Um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to open up the Doja Cat track and I'm just going to put a little bit of work into it and see if I can maybe just make like a quick section. Quick section. Do 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 do. People are working on an unofficial Bitwig theme support patch. Well, Bitwig has like a, isn't there like a, a script thing that you can do? Which could be cool. I'd be worried about it like crashing or something though. So hi, Shira. Doja Cat footwork. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I don't remember what's in all this stuff. So anything that's not in the track, I'm just going to move over a bit. Food out with my gooch out. That's the name of this track <laughs> because that's what it sounds like she's saying. Hey, okay, what's up? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Cats Motel. I'm your host, Cats. So there's a melody in here that I really like, and I want to. Oh, that's the bass line. Fake it, fake it. Developer is fighting some issues where Bitly crashes, but he will fix it. He said he is working on an interface for the app, better for color customization. Yeah, that could be cool. <clears throat> I don't know. I, to be honest with you, like I, I'd be lying if I didn't say that it wouldn't be cool. But I've kind of been working in this environment for so long now that. I kind of just don't like I just don't let it get in the way of me making music anymore if that makes sense hey Kali what's up dude
so you can see grid lines. I, yeah, like I said, like, <clears throat> I totally get where people are coming from with that, but the grid lines, those are things that don't really bother me. Um, it's almost become a meme now because it, what Bitwig has been out for 10 years, <clears throat> I want to say. And yeah, <laughs> it's been out for 10 years and we still don't have an option. I almost worry that like changing, like changing the look of shit would fuck me up. I don't know, call it, call it superstition, but yeah, I feel like that would throw me off. Hey, St St Steggy? How do I say your name? But if it works for you, I'm happy. <clears throat> There's a reason theme support is most wish feature. I wouldn't say it's the most wish feature, but I would, I would say that it's highly requested. <clears throat> but I mean, either way, like I'm not like that's cool. I'm glad that that someone's doing something about it. <laughs> Um, there's a few things, there's a few things that really make me annoyed with, uh, with Bitwig, but, I mean, there's always workarounds. Possibility for many mods and code modification, like some say will implement glue, better arrangement controls, better piano roll. Yeah, I think the piano roll could use some love for sure. Um, I, I mean, like, I can't, uh, I can't really say what Bitwig's worst faults are. I can only say the things that I don't like that bother me. And the thing, like, the thing with it is that what might bother me might not bother somebody else. So I can't really be like, oh, my ward is born. You know, it's like, that's that's yeah it's just how i feel but in regards to that i think one of the biggest things i'd like them to fix is just being able to repitch samples without them being warped the saint staying in vegas Okay, so I'm going to print this, <clears throat> and then I'm going to quantize this. And then I'm going to set this to repitch. What's up, dude? <laughs> this track is awesome. Did I find that this is Doja Cat? <clears throat> I 
But the reason, <clears throat> so like, I'm not a fan of Doja Cat, but the reason why I'm, why I am remixing her is because this song is called Vegas, and uh, for the set that's coming up this week, I wanted to, um, I wanted to, yeah, basically do something. <laughs> And I think that would be kind of cool to... I want this to kind of like pitch up over time. So maybe what I'll do... So I'll take this and repitch this. And then what I might do is I might just stretch this out. <laughs> I'm just imagining someone in the background just like Man, that part is that part is so cool. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I really like uh, the nature of this, so what I might do is I might grab a frequency shifter and see if I can balance it out. I have my midtones in black level at zero lowest possible. Mine's look so much darker. Maybe it's the stream. I don't know. I I mean I can pull it up. Yeah. Zero, zero, one hundred. One hundo. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably your monitor. Mr. Baguette. All new chicken baguette. <laughs> You're fine. Um I'm good. I'm just working on a set. I'm playing for, or I'm opening for Opio this Saturday. And I'm trying to uh, just have a bunch of variety. <laughs> It honestly doesn't affect me, um, because the only thing that I ever use for the browser is all devices like this, and then I just type in what I want. So I, and then I have my sample pack on the right, so I just type in you know kick, which I I rarely do anything with this. Maybe like I'll pull out a hi hat or something every once in a while because I don't feel like making one, but 
In fact, if you wanted to, you can make a new track three hours before your show and play it. It's so cool and inspired to reach that level. I have to be really fired up to do that. Um, I appreciate that you recognize that because I've done it on stream multiple times, but I, I wouldn't be able to be like, oh, I could just, I will never say that. Like, I will, that will never come from my mouth to be like, oh, I could just whip up a track and like, I, nah. Even if I can, that's just that's not how I want to come off. Um, I will say that I do know how to be efficient when when I have an idea, and I think that's that's something. But that's a much, that hits much differently than being like, yeah, I could just make a track in two three hours. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> This ain't staying in Vegas. Mark Ribelay, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, but like, Mark Ribelay is 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 fantastic, and um, I would say something that is really admirable about what he does is that he is very like charismatic and um is able to like sell what he's making with his presentation right because it's not just about like him doing looping stuff because i mean that's really cool and i i don't like working that way but but i have a, a lot of respect for it um but it's also his presentation about how he's like you know he's dancing he's moving around he's on the mic he's using his own voice he's like playing keys and like doing stuff um i don't think that's easy to do and like he's also a musician like he's a he's a real musician so yeah it's the energy that he brings whereas for me like i'm very like technical with shit of like sound design sound design sound design throw a beat together sound design blue to blue blue process of like regurgitate regurgitate whatever and um i think that's part of the reason why a lot of people like have a hard time sitting through a stream because like a lot of the stuff like even now what i'm doing is not very exciting like the end result is cool but the 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 process that i have to go through to get to where i'm at even if it is faster than than most is it's kind of grueling yo thanks for the follow pieces and i'm sorry about the lack of video edits guys i've been working my ass off on music so <laughs> So I think I want to repeat that part twice. And I might want to switch the snare up or switch up the clap. As long as I'm putting out content. Dude, I'm <laughs> I'm online almost every day. You know that. <laughs> and that's something that like that's something that I'm really proud of with my own channel is, uh, I can't speak for other channels, but I, I mean, I, I, that, that's not true. There are other channels that are doing that, but I'm all about the music. You know, I would rather just work on music than make tutorials these days. And, um, that's probably why I stream so much, even though I think that it's actually counterintuitive. It's weird because logically I would be like, Hey, you see me making these tutorials, but here I am making music, and you would think that more people would be drawn to that. But in actuality, people just want the bite-sized content, I feel. And um, I, I almost feel like they don't really even care if I make good music or not. <clears throat> no, I haven't even filmed. Like I said, I've just been... Actually, that's not true. I tried to film yesterday uh, and talk about the dub track um, that, that I played at the beginning of the stream. And, um, 
Yeah, I had plugins on OBS, and so when I was recording the sound, it sounded like shit. And I didn't realize that I'd had that on for, like, more than a week. And so hopefully the sound quality is a lot better, but I 100% prefer streams. Man, thank you. It, it's a really small demographic, though. You guys are a very small minority from from whoever else I talk to or whoever else engages with my content. <laughs> I like things I like things way more than myself. Some kind of downshifter there. When is that supposed to turn on? Oh, no, I wanted that to turn on right there. That rhythm right there is so cool to me. Like, I need to make a moment out of that. Yo, Kunis, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Yo, if you all don't know Kunis, um, he makes killer fucking music. I have so much music that I've made uh, it just in the past fucking three months. I have so much stuff to show you. Uh, this is a footwork track that I'm doing. I'm, I'm playing or I'm opening for Opio this Saturday. And um, I was just been trying to have like a lot of variety. But. Um, oh, man, I haven't talked to you in a long time. I've got so much stuff to show you. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do like a song that was dedicated to Vegas. So, cause that's where I live. And, um, this song is Doja Cat's Vegas. So I'm remixing it into a footwork track, uh, which is, yeah, I'll play this for you. Then I'll show you some of the other stuff that I've been working on. <clears throat> that's Corey. <laughs> How are you, man? How's life?
yeah, like, it, I still need to do... I just added this part today, so I need to do a transition into this. somewhere public but yeah that's that's pretty normalized so yeah that's what i'm working on right now but <clears throat> man i've got so much i'll just kind of like run you through some of the shit that i've been making um definitely getting set for footwork this is my first time doing a footwork track so if it's anywhere decent then i'm happy because i it's not my genre Collab I'm doing with G Space. For anybody that's tuning in, I'm just going through some of the tracks that I've made recently.
Alright, thanks everybody. So there's that one. Uh, Dim Lights is one of my favorite tracks that I've written uh, recently. It just, it has that. I sent this to Tom, he wasn't a fan of it, but that's okay. No, that last track is a collab, like, I'm still waiting on Grady to put to put work into it. He rejects everything. It's <laughs> Fair. Yo, I... Should we show them blindfold? Sitting on treasure. Take a look at what you guys are doing here, fucking bangers after bangers. Oh, thanks, man. Well, I've been like, work I've been working on this shit a lot, so. Um, yeah, there's also Shackled. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of other genres recently for this set, but I'll play those last. I just don't know what to do with it. I've already done that though. I did that with, uh, I did that like a few months ago with some other unreleased tunes. But again and again, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I'd like to hear what my tracks are sound like they're actually because I want to listen to it. Here's what I know, shit sounds awesome. People could be listening to it on Spotify right now. 
Dog, I don't care about Spotify. For what? 44 listeners a month? Like, I don't give a shit about that. In my eyes, I'm like, fuck Spotify. I'll play one more like halftime or like hip hoppy thing and then I'll play you some of the other stuff that I've been doing. Joining right now, it sucks that I can't listen to them on my phone. You can just watch the stream. because my grandmother passed and uh, <clears throat> a long time ago before she decided to go to law school she had a record deal and she decided not to take it and so I wanted to continue that legacy for personal reasons but other than that like dude thank you man that's really like that's really kind but I mean I, I don't know man I just I just make music for me and I think that having that mentality is is just what's going to help me continue to make good music, uh, music that I like, music that I, I like to trick to. I do have this We in the Club like Hooligans, Saruta Flip, but I'll play that later. Um, but I've also tried to like, most of the music that I have in my set is halftime. So I've made like five or six different tracks that are of different genres just to try it and also have some variety because it's like a 45 minute set. So this is the most recent tune that I just wrapped up it's just a dj cut but it's a dub tune um but i like it it's cool Drop it. What's kind of interesting, you would think that the YouTube channel would make people want to listen to my music, but that's not the case.
I don't know, maybe I'll just put it all up in singles and just do like a self-release on all this stuff and see what happens. But yeah, so there's that. Then I did um, a mid-tempo track. That shit is fire. Thanks, man. And then uh, I'm working on a footwork track right now, actually. You might actually be able to give me some direction, Sammy, if you're going to stick around for a couple minutes. Because I've actually been meaning to send you a message. And it's probably the weakest track. But it, it's kind of good. what I'm worried about is because like there's hardly anything on the master and everything else is like baked in the mixing especially with like copious amounts of clippers all throughout so yeah I don't know man anyways uh I've got one more that I'll show you it's a garage track and um then I'll show you I'll get back to doing what I was doing working on this section but yeah that's kind of that's some stuff that uh newfangled saturate by far Actually, it's the only one that I use. So I had G Clip for a while, but I didn't really like the results I was getting from it. I think this is just for experimentation, but I'm still 100% half time.
Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I just I wanted to make some dance tunes that because most of my stuff has not really been dance tracks. It's all been just kind of like vibe out, and um, I've, I don't know. I will say that after doing a couple lessons with Chi, he kind of just was like, "Hey, <laughs> here you go," and I was like, "Oh, okay, I get it now." But <clears throat> yeah, I've got like. I want to say like 10 or 11 more that I'm sitting on. That track is 90% finished with mixing. Can I play that drop again? The first part? Yeah, so anyways, I'm working on this footwork track, and um, I decided to add another section, so it's, uh, sounds like this. Yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. part is uh, like I said I just added this so I'm not really sure where I want to take it yet but um, yeah so that's where we're at I'm trying to think if there's any other tracks that I want to show you all that um... hey Michael yeah I need to actually use the restroom so I'll play we in the club like hooligans because I'm not sure if you guys know the song or not but it's a Saruta flip that I did um, so I'll play that I'm gonna use the restroom real quick This riff was at the beginning, and like he totally goes in a completely different direction. And I was like, man, like, no, I love this. Like, so, anyways, I decided to make her to flip it. You can fire half time. 
be honest with you, like, that's, that's, yeah, I do have some, like, I do have one liquid D&D song, but it's fucking garbage. Um, I don't really know what makes footwork, I just made a beat based off of what I was listening to. I don't, I don't know, like, the the tracks, like, all I did was I looked up, like, some footwork tracks, and what I realized was that it's all, like, a boom, 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 and then also, like, a lot of it is super, at least, like, the old shit is really repetitive, right? They'll take, like, one sample and then just, like, repeat that over and over and over again, and I, I didn't really want to, I wanted to keep the same beat flow with this but I didn't want to have like the you know do 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 you know I have that a little bit right here where she's saying Vegas but I didn't want that to be the whole track because to me that shit's just I it's just not my style I'll just say that but it was a journey it was good oh thank you I was talking about this track this track specifically um but yeah with this other stuff how many other tracks do i have one two so i did reopen day 13 and then i think that i ended up renaming that to paypal world which yeah so i ended up reopening this one but i don't think i went back to day five Oh, 
Oh, day 15 was a jungle track. Ask me about a liquid track. I'll play you a little bit, but it's fucking boring. And I think that I just ended up liking the chord progression. Where is that? That's amazing. Oh, thank you, man. Bonus track. Where is it? I should probably fucking... 30 day beat challenge. Uh, some whippies. Ruminate. Dream signs. What is this? Did I delete it? Through the mist. It's right there in my fucking face. Yeah, this I I do not like this track at all. But but I tried. But if you guys really want to see my best work, Corey and I made this. The globalists are losing, but they're doubling down their attacks. There's one thing they fear, and it's turbo oh, diarrhea coming out of somebody's ass. Ah! Just turbo dinosaur. Ah! Ah! Was that devil's ass? Yeah. It, yeah. The whole thing is a giant hoax. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat my neighbor's ass. Uh, if y'all know A.O. Odwin, he uh, does this thing where he'll listen to people's trash beats. Hey, Brian. And uh, sometimes Corey and I just make stuff like that to fucking enjoy making music. Um, yeah. So just remember, Alex Jones will eat your ass. So beware. 
Um, yeah, it's just for fun. More car lock beeps, please. That's a great fucking idea. Air horns. Well, we did that on the other one, on I'm a Proud Top. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be sweaty and itchy. A little bit. Is the economy going to get better? No. I'm a proud top, 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 I'm uh I'm train wrecking. I need to finish this so I can move on because I don't like this song. Whoa! What the fuck? I appreciate you all hearing both my good and bad stuff. Yeah. I was building a laser. I mean, don't say that. Like, who, who, who's to judge? Why is it so loud? That's because the track is loud. <laughs> oh god. Uh, let's do a cluster delay on this. And then we just need to get the timing right. And then also, I don't remember what the key of this track is in. I think it's an F sharp. It doesn't really matter, but it matters to me. Yeah, it's an F sharp. Or G flop. Okay. So we'll utilize this. Turn this down. Yeah, I really like how that like comes in and just kind of sweeps that out. So let's adjust the timing of this now and make this longer. It might need to be even longer than that, but we'll see. So now we can do a pitch bin. Okay, and I want to add energy to this now, so I'm going to grab some white noise. 
Sorry, I'm getting into narration. When half-grown, the young still have the downy white coat. Yeah, that'll work. Fucking yikes. White noise can be the most, like, jarring thing ever if it's not... Jesus Christ. That just sounds like... out with my gooch out. I cannot unhear that. Vega, 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 Vega. I, I want to see if this is going to work. But what I want to do with this is uh, climb this like this. Nice. Uh, shit. Okay. Maybe something like this instead. Do, 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 do. Just kind of. You ain't nothing You ain't nothing. That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> Can I tell you guys a secret? This is not staying in Vegas. Fuck this shit. My own brother just threw me out of his house and I'm in the middle of nowhere looking for a way home. Minus five Celsius? How the fuck is it minus five... I mean, that really sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, that's terrible, but... I would go to... a shelter. That would be the first thing that I would try to get to. I would definitely hop off YouTube and go to a shelter. Although I know that you're not from America, so I'm not sure if if that exists. But <clears throat> also, if you pay rent, then that's low-key illegal. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good to me. See, the thing that I wish that I could have that I could do with this is that the I really want to take out the you ain't nothing butter behind here but yo thanks for the follow DJ Angelic Angelic sorry Angel <laughs> so sorry. it's the it's the capital L that got me 
Um, sorry. Actually, you probably did that on purpose because it's a CK, not just an LIC. So I don't feel so bad now that I think about it. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, maybe I just will not do a you ain't nothing but a Oh shit. What tune is it? I got a plugin that separates vocals and instruments. I mean, I do too, but but it, you can't separate vocals from vocals is the problem. So that's, that's the issue isn't the separation of instruments. It's the fact that you ain't nothing but it is part of the vocals. do like a ta 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 um and then what i want to do here is because those are usually when you stack transients really close to each other you want to turn that down and then let's do some kind of kick kick thing So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add beam to the master here. And um, I'm just going to utilize this to get some kind of downshifter thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Beam is such a neat plugin. That shit's sick. Uh, but anyways, what we could utilize with this is just um, a very f quick transition here. I do not want to put that in the fundamentals because that's going to do something weird. But what we can do is kind of just take this and stretch it out a bit. And and just pitch it down, down. Erotic Cafe came in here one time, and I had to tell him how much I love that one song or that one remix that he did, "Bring the Madness." <laughs> I need to find a way to build it back up. Actually, no, I don't. Well, maybe. I don't know. This is definitely the highest part of the track. I could 
sorry, I'm trying to think. I could make it go like, maybe I could introduce this as this is coming up. So let's let's maybe play with this and see if I can do something there. <laughs> So what I think I can do is, uh, okay, so I'm going to turn this down a bit and then on this, we're going to go command J I'm going to go command B pitch this up. And then I can automate some kind of reverb with a filter. Macro. Just open that up over time, set a single macro. And maybe give it a curve. Let's see what that does. Oops, we meant to do this. And Maybe for this one. There we go. So that way we can reintroduce the original idea. That's supposed to be in there? I think so. So. Hey, what's up, Philippe? How are you, man? Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. 
Okay, so what I think I want to do right here is I want to add a high pass to the drums. And that's just like a really quick and dirty way to like add energy to this section, right? Because like while this was going, I was like, this is really cool. This is really cool, but it's not going anywhere. So by utilizing this of like boom, doom, boom, doom, doom, boom, 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 like we'll we'll let that play and then it kind of comes into this part and then um we can kind of utilize that to transition back into like something's coming but it's a release back into the the regular part which i can utilize this section to just either play as an outro or to go into um to go into a different track or going to something else at some point. to be honest so maybe I can make this a little bit cooler as well See, that's, that just gives it a little bit more beef. here is uh because it's it's close but we need a crash right there a crash goo because i wanted that to kind of lead up into like this is a double build right here or i don't know i just made that term up it's not really even a thing but um it's like all the wonky and i'm gonna do more to the vocals but um right here it should just be like a no sorry right here yeah 
Yeah, so. So maybe what I'll do is I'll. What? What the fuck? What the hell? So it's the concept is there, but the execution isn't quite because I'm wanting to. It's weird. It's almost like a, a it's it's a double build and a double reset because we've got this little right, and then when this goes down, it's like supposed to be like right. That's like the reset, and then what I want to do is I kind of want to do that again, but let the vocals just so maybe if we have like a reverse thing right here i don't know if that makes sense or not but Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that octave thing or not, but it's almost like I'm not even listening to it. I'm just trying shit and seeing what happens. Actually, you know what would be cool is if we kind of pulled away from that. Now, I hear something in here, and I can't tell what it is, but it sounds like something percussive, and I want to see if I can... Where is that? Is it on... It's like... No. Maybe it's in the voice. You hear that? Okay, so... I want to see if I can take that sound and isolate that do 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 and create you hear it now um I don't know how I caught that, but I was just like, oh, that's fucking cool. So maybe I can do something with that and make that into like a bongo percussion or something. Maybe not so clicky though. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> this sounds like something straight from hell. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm just having fun. I hope you all are too. Let's see if I can, I might want to toss the extractor here first. That wanted to be over here. Maybe something that I'll do is I'll turn that off just for that part.
Was that that the original? Yeah, I think that's the issue here is that this is playing at the key of the song and then I just use, that's where the disconnect is. So we need to have a different sound there, maybe like a bass sound or something. <laughs> That might be kind of cool. Sorry, I'm not talking much, guys. I'm just trying to get this track done. Hey! We still need a um It's almost there. Just needs a little bit more love and more band pass. More band pass. Uh, snap heap. We created two band. Leave the low end where it is. Three band, I guess. This is not staying in Vegas. 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 This is not staying in Vegas. 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 And by the way, this this is this is not staying in Vegas. Okay. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> the Saints stand in Vegas. There we 
There we go. So now we just need to make that sound more alive. Yeah, that's starting to sound nice. Dash Nash. Does anybody have any questions about anything so far? How happy am I on this tune? From I need to listen to it again. Also, does this sound a lot better now? Uh, because I had plugins on. Um, um, I had plugins the last few streams of a DSer and an EQ. And I didn't realize that it was, I didn't realize it was of only until yesterday that I remembered because I was trying to film like how I made the dub track. And then I walked through it twice and was like, why does this recording sound like shit? And then I realized that the plugins are on there. So, um, yeah, yeah. Your boy is not that smart sometimes. <laughs> Why does that sound like that? Roll. Okay. We might want to. <laughs> Add some chorus. And some flanger. Okay, so this sounds okay, but it's not quite up to like how I want it to be. So we're going to, um, we're going to do more to it until I'm happy with it. Long story short. So I'm actually going to add another notch here and see what happens if I move this up. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But I think that the biggest issue that I have is that I want it to be more spacious, so...
I think I also want it to be crispier, so... Taste the biscuit. That's kind of cool. I also want it to twist a little more. Aggressive vibes on this track. Thank you. And then maybe just some some reverb or something. Some reverb over the t I'm sorry, I'm not from I'm not from there. I shouldn't talk like that. Accents are fun, but... Okay, we got away with one neuro bass. <laughs> one neuro bass sound in this track. <laughs> this bass is nice. <laughs> This is not staying in Vegas. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. You know be really fucking cool? I just want to see if this is going to work. <laughs> Why is this in the fundamentals, Ian? What are you doing? 
uh, option A. I also have it set to zero. Got a bright idea. Let's just fucking uh, just let's let's be dumb. Fill base post. Okay, I thought it was worth a try, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that. But it was a cool idea, like a... I don't know, I'm staying in Vegas or some shit. Be cool to do like a do do do. In the snare. I mean, it's just 808 stuff, so.
Gotta have that. instead. That's still really loud. I think that, yeah, I think that's, whoa. That's why this sounds so aggressive is because this is pro, yeah, they're, okay. Um, this needs to be in here and then this guy needs to be somewhere else like maybe the sidechain group or something i think that's why that laser was so fucking crazy yeah i was like what the hell kind of cool Right. 
Yikes, what the fuck? That's weird. Why is that like the fade's not working? So now I'm just having fun cutting up this part. I wanted to get this in the arrangement. Um, but... There's a really holy shit. I just heard that. Oh, my God. Uh, maybe I just had a crazy ear spike thing. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, let's do a listen. I I don't know. I I just don't like this track. I think that it's borderline too tryharding, and uh, but it's a learning experience. So there's that. <laughs> I just feel like it needs more uh, stuff. more that I want to do with this as well. Patience, 
That don't 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 is still like the coolest thing I found in this. think about this track I'm like and please when I ask that I'm not looking for compliments like be honest I, I would prefer to hear stuff that's like mm, this doesn't sound right or this is off I don't know I'm gonna listen to this one more time but what is this oh yeah I ended up muting that because I didn't like that but <laughs> I didn't realize that I'd already made a laser on this. This is also not doing anything to build energy either, so we need another kind of a riser or something. I'm just going to see if I have one. Yeah, that might work.
that to be more airy. So I'm gonna see if I can make that splash a little, a little more. <laughs> machine grow is but that's cool yeah i think i don't know i think where i left it off before i started working on this today it was playable and now i think that it has a little bit more variation in it so it feels like a more fleshed out tune um 636 to 923 so it's like a three minute tune now we added like 30 seconds of extra shit but yeah i don't know i think it's okay I'm going to listen to it a few more times and see if there's anything that I don't like. I think the mix is is more what I'm like, eh, in the energy level. Because I wanted, I don't know if I did the best job of, like, telling the story of, like, building this up and then letting it through here. But that's okay. This isn't my genre, and I did all right. Do I use serial compression a lot? Uh, do you mean parallel compression? It's very rare that I leave. That's not sure. If I'm doing OTT, then I'll I'll have something just 100% dry usually. But if I'm doing like... The only other compressor that I use is the glue compressor. So it's either one of... It's either this one or this one. Between the two, they do all the things that I need them to do. But yeah, this one usually is always at 100%. This one is usually um, usually like this or something. But yeah, even still, I don't think that it's necessary to have that on there. It's already loud as fuck. It's probably too loud, but... Okay, the wheel up definitely needs to be there. But I think that I want it to be a little bit more subdued because it sounds really dry. Stacking compression. Uh, I might do multiple OTTs over something, but I don't do like compress. I don't do like regular compression to compress. And to be honest with you, I try to. I try to go for less compression and more saturation um, because that's how you get a thicker sound. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I like questions, so that's totally fine. But yeah, less comp go for less compression, more saturation if you want your sounds to be thicker and bigger. Maybe I should just EQ that high one. Cause that's pretty fucking low, yeah. It might also help if I actually EQ 
is probably the most, well, parametric EQ is the most versatile mixing tool. And, all, well, one of the most useful... No, that's an EQ is probably the most versatile effect that you can put on a sound because I use it for filtering. I use it for um, building chords. I use it for forcing a fundamental. I use it as a transient shaper. I use it as a complex filter. Um, I use it to control dynamics of a sound. Like, yeah, I would say an EQ is the most, like, get yourself a good EQ. That's, that's, that's a really, really crucial thing to do. Bitwig and Ableton's EQ is just fine. Actually, I hate Ableton's EQ, but it, it's still serviceable. But, yeah. All right, I'll be listening to this one more time, and then I'm going to take any more questions that you all might have, and then I'm kind of cooked, but... <laughs> from oh I see okay so let's just come up with a cool Thank <laughs> you. 
that sounds a lot better to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan this. This is just something that I picked up from Saruta that I really like doing. To me, it just makes the shaker seem more dynamic and just more, more movement is happening. Is this so much quieter than this? It's not. It's hard, man. Like, I can't get through the whole thing without, like, catching shit. There's, like, so much to do on this. All right. One more time. Not going to not gonna play this again, but let's see if there's anything that I don't like.
Mastering the mix? I don't know. I... I tried to not... Try not to worry about mastering too much. I mean, most of, most of the mastering that I do is just within the, the mixing itself. But I also, I don't know. Um, I don't really care for plugins right now. I don't know the the most recent plugin that I demoed was um, Life, and uh, I was like, uh, that's okay. It's not really all that interesting to me. It's like cool that they have this like cloud thing to where you can just record on your phone and then it's all ready to go within the plugin. But at the same time, like I could just airdrop it to my computer and then start cutting it from scratch, which I would almost prefer to do anyways. So I, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the plugin suite that I, that I use. I can't really think of anything that I'm like, man, I really need this. And the most recent thing that I did get was beam and beam is beam is dope, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> uh, Yeah, uh, there's not really anything that I'm like, oh, I need a new plugin. I don't know. I'm kind of out of that world for now, unless if I see something that's really compelling. I I know that I've done a lot of plugin reviews, but I've kind of I don't want to say that I've capped out, but I'm, I'm making music. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not doing plugin reviews and being like, look at the possibilities. I'm kind of just making shit with the tools that I have now. And if something new comes out that I'm like really into, then I'll, I'll try to cover it. But yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. What do y'all think of the tune? Do you think that this is playable in the club? Do you think that this is something that you would vibe to any frequencies stand out that you're like, Oh my God, this is hurting my fucking head or Oh shit, hold on. Hey, I have an emergency. I need to make a phone call. I'm going to put you all on mute.
everything's okay, but I need to go and uh, got to check in with my people when things are coming up. But yeah, hopefully you all uh, enjoyed the stream. I played out some some new stuff that I've been working on and we're going to wrap this one up and I'm pretty happy about it. It's it's about Dunzo. So um, thank you all. I really appreciate everything. If you want to support the channel, check out alchemy.com or book a lesson with me. Check out the other videos that I have if you want to figure out how to make music like I do. Um, I don't really have anything else. This gig is on Saturday. I will be streaming Friday, but I think that I'm going to do like... I'll probably be streaming Saturday too, to be honest. Maybe Rain and I will play some games because he's coming to town for the show. Rain is my brother, but what I'm thinking of is maybe, um, maybe Friday... I'm trying to think maybe Friday we'll just bullshit and maybe I'll take questions or we can just hang out or we can goof off or something. Um, but I don't want to do production Friday. I just, I just, I really don't, I do, but I don't, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, aside from that, um, yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate having someone to hang out with while I make music and someone to play my tunes out too. So that means a lot. And um, hopefully we'll do something fun again on Friday. And then we'll be live Saturday earlier. And then I got my gig. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Rain's in town. Maybe I'll take Saturday off to go work. I don't know. We'll talk. You can always hit me up on Discord. And I'm pretty prompt if you tag me or if you send me a message. So just let me know if anybody needs anything. But all right, guys. Much love. I will see you all very soon. And um, peace out.